right, so we're currently headed to Austin, Texas. We're actually just gonna head up there to party. Really didn't have a reason to go. But coincidentally, the Formula One race is happening there this weekend, and I got us tickets. So we're gonna go do that tomorrow, but today we're just driving up to Austin. It's about a two, four, three, three two and a half hour drive. It's not bad, so. Taylor's driving us in the Raptor. Charlie's Raptor. Doing nothing, I don't know what the fuck he's doing. What is that? <laughs> Cut that part out. <laughs> <laughs> coupon, which is a $100 bill. All right, Wolf. Exactly. Something I didn't think about till just now, I have access to a TRD Pro 4Runner and the F-150 Raptors. Let me know if you guys would want to see like a comparison, because I have a big ranch I could take both the cars to, kind of see which one's better off-road, because they're both kind of like the Baja ready cars from any auto manufacturer right now. What the fuck? Holy crap. All right, so since I didn't get the camera on in time, Fucking 18 wheeler, like with one of the wide low trailers, the ones that are really long, had like it looked like what piping on for like a culvert yeah. or something, like big, big, like steel piping. And it just fucking fell off the truck and like slammed on the road and the ground spun around, like dust everywhere. Like I'm talking like a hundred foot long, 20,000 pound fucking exactly. piece of metal. And he was going like 70 miles an hour. Oh my god. Wow. That was nuts. All right, we're about halfway to Austin. That was a wake up call. I was gonna make two videos, but instead I'm just gonna make one video over the course of today and tomorrow, um, going to Formula One and stuff because I kinda just wanna relax and go have some fun with the guys. So I'm not gonna take the camera with me for the rest of the day, but it will be back on tomorrow morning. What's going on guys? So it is one day later. Had a great time last night. Feel like shit this morning, but it's all good. Um, so myself and Taylor are headed to some big lot where they're gonna pick us up in a shuttle and take us to the raceway. But first I gotta get coffee because I feel like shit. So the bus dropped us off like literally two miles from the track. So now we just get to listen to this. Hopefully y'all can hear that and walk for two miles. So big shout out to Asim for giving us the tickets. Him and his sister are joining us today. This car is insane. I've never been to anything like this in my life. Um, I went to like a NASCAR race when I was little and that was lame as shit. This is a different level right now. You ready? Oh man, you have no idea. Ready? Oh yeah. Sick. Found out that Porsche actually has a race going on at four o'clock, so I'm definitely gonna stay for that because all the GT3 Probably. Cup cars and this thing just pulled up. like a sky bridge and they're going under right there. Woo, that sounds amazing. Oh. That's a huge throttle direction right there. <laughs> Road sounds so good. I just want to stand in here all day. Wait. All right, so the uh, F1 like heritage cars are about to race. That should be badass to watch. All those cars still have like V12s and stuff, super loud. So we're gonna try to get some shots of that. And then the Porsche like GT3 Cup cars all race like four o'clock. So that should be badass. And then I think we're gonna get out of here. We might actually head back to Houston tonight. I'm not feeling too great right now, so. Went a little too hard last night.
awesome people at the Formula One track got us some wristbands. Yeah. Pretty much get us into anywhere. So we're gonna go to the Porsche today. I'm so happy right now. in the Porsche area with all the race car drivers. This is like the greatest day of my life, honestly. Like, I don't remember having a better day. <laughs> Greatest thing I've ever seen in my life. All right, now I kind of want to go watch a race. Success is an understatement. Like, Very. best day I've had in a long time. It's the best day of my life, honestly. I like, none of it was day. planned. We came to Austin to party. We did not come for this. It was random. I got a text like, hey, I got two extra tickets. You want to join us? We got to go behind the scenes. We got a suite. We got fucking the best view in the house. Like, I don't... All access to everything. So at this point, I'm exhausted. I really don't want to go out tonight. So I'm thinking we're going to drive back to Houston tonight. Yeah, let's do it. Back so if that's the case, cue the back to Houston montage now. Finally getting a chance to test this camera in low light. So it's pretty much pitch black outside, pitch black in this truck. And I'm assuming you can still see me pretty well. So we're like a tenth of the way home. Walking into Bucky's. If you don't know what Bucky's is, it's like a giant, amazing gas station. I, it's like, it's, I don't know how to describe it. It's, it's a really nice gas station. If you're in Texas, you gotta check it out. I don't like the green ones. That was my eco-friendly thing to make up for your truck. I fed wildlife. <laughs> you fed the fucking road. If anything, you're gonna get hit by a car. All right, so we just got back to the house. Today was awesome. Probably like my top five best days of my life. Just all in all, crazy. Was not expecting that. I didn't even go to Austin with the intention of going to Formula One. It was just a huge coincidence, but I'm really happy it happened. Appreciate you guys watching this video. If you liked it, hit the like button, share it. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, and I will catch you guys in the next one. into an Airbnb before. I don't really know what I'm supposed to expect, but this is looking a little, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm scared to death man. to get lice, bed bugs, somebody coming in the middle of the night and rob us. Where the fuck do we park? <laughs>